After hundreds rush border, Trump drops final anvil on caravan. Democrats thought Donald would never go this far so he went even further. President Trump knew that the Honduras caravan would be a disaster, and now the world is seeing he was right. The time has come for drastic action. The caravan is showing up, and they're as bad as we expected. Hundreds pushed past the police and rushed the American border. Rocks are being thrown at border patrol guards, and parts of the border fence are being torn down. One Honduran man even set a tree on fire. These are the so-called peaceful people that the Democrats want you to accept into our country. They are not even in America yet and they have already demonstrated a lack of respect for our laws. Trump has had enough of these migrants treating our laws like they don't matter, and now he's doing something that Obama and Hillary would never do. From Fox News U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBP, said it suspended northbound and southbound crossings for both pedestrians and vehicles at the San Ysidro port of entry at approximately 11.30 a.m. local time. It later tweeted that the pedestrian crossings had reopened, a little more than four hours after the initial closure. The vehicle lanes reopened at approximately 5 p.m. local time, five and a half hours after they were closed. The crossings may have been reopened, but that's not the end of it. Now Trump is considering even stronger action to end this mess, once and for all, and it will enrage Democrats. If we find that it gets to a level where we're going to lose control or people are going to start getting hurt, we will close entry into the country for a period of time until